We had a long road ahead of us, Rainbow Dash and I. Well, not too long because we didn't have much time, but the point is... I was up for the challenge. There I was, surveying the crime scene. And looking tree chic while doing it. This must be the envelope for the letter Spitfire got. Hmm. These look like hairs from a rainbow mane. That's not good. Rainbow Dash was getting antsy, but I had faith I could clear her name and find the real culprit. What are you doing? Oh, what? Uh oh, just thinking thoughts. Rainbow Dash was right. In order to solve the mystery, we had to be focused, driven, 100% in the... Ooh! The damask pattern on these curtains is exquisite! Oh, and this velvet rope holder. Oh, it's just... Ugh, we don't have time to look at the decor. They're gonna kick me out of the Wonder Bolts unless we solve this thing. I know, Rainbow. And I'm on this case like a charm on a bracelet. Here's what I'm thinking. Some pony had to bring Spitfire that letter, which means some pony must have seen them. I just have a few questions for you. And I'm sure once we get some things cleared up, we'll... Come on, Rarity. We don't have all day. Where were you on the night of last night at midnight? We were here, guarding the hallway entrance like we were supposed to. A likely story. I'm telling you, we were there all night, and no one went in or out of that hallway. Except for you. What are you trying to say? Just that there are only two rooms in the Northwest Wing, yours and Spitfire's. So the only other pony who had access to that wing was you. The waters were getting choppy. Rainbow Dash's tactics were, well, horrid. It was time for another approach. Perhaps I should take it from here? You castle guards have such a difficult job. I'm guessing that at times it can be rather boring. It is. I've counted all 345 bolts in the ceiling tiles 293 times. And of course, being a castle guard can be thankless work. I'm not saying you did, but if you took a break, you more than deserved it. Oh, you're right. We don't get a lot of recognition for what we do. Except for last night when some pony was nice enough to leave a cake for us. So we did take one little break when we ate that cake. What kind of cake was it? Cherry with a custard filling. Was the frosting vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Was the base of the cake decorated with buttercream rosettes? It was. Ugh! Who cares how it was decorated? Rainbow Dash was questioning my methods, but I knew what I was doing. Do you? Oh, oh, oh. Did I say that one out loud? I mean, even I think I'm guilty at this point. I really did want to fly in that show. What if I wrote that note when I was asleep? Do you know what I do when I sleep? Because I sure don't. Oh, calm down, Rainbow Dash. We'll get to the bottom of this. There's only one bakery in Cantalot that makes a chocolate cherry cake with custard filling and buttercream frosting rosettes, and that's Cinnamon Chai's Tea and Cake Shop. Hello. How can I help you? I've heard you have the best chocolate cherry custard cake with buttercream frosting rosettes in town. Oh, you travel in the right circles. We have the only chocolate cherry custard cake with buttercream frosting rosettes in town. Oh no, but some ponies already bought it. Who was the lucky pony? I can't even say. Why? Because it was some pony famous? No. Because it was hard to tell. She was wearing a trench coat, sunglasses, and a scarf around her head that covered most of her face. But I do remember she had a really deep, raspy voice. What do you mean, raspy? Well, kind of like yours. Um, if there's anything else you can remember, dish. Well, have I got a story for you? The pony who bought the cake threw a big fit when she accidentally got chocolate ganache on her scarf. That's terrible. What color was the scarf? White. No, maybe more an ivory. You don't say. I can't believe you're talking fashion at a time like this. Rainbow, don't panic. I need you to trust me. Trust you? You spent more time changing clothes than trying to help me. I'm doomed. No, you're not. <laughs> 